First story. I have a pit bull black lab that's four years old. I was having trouble sleeping and he kept looking out the bedroom window and would constantly just growl while looking outside. I figured he spotted a cat, so I thought nothing of it. I was trying to get him to ease up so he could sleep. Maybe 10 minutes later, I got irritated with said cat, put on shoes and started heading to the front door. He got up so fast and got to the front door before me. He started growling at the door, and this seemed weird to me at the moment since he usually goes straight to the living room for a better view. So, instead of opening the door, I peeked out the window and saw two men, in all black, both with backpacks, one looking at the cars, and the other appeared to be scanning the front yard. It's like he knew shit was about to hit the fan when he saw me peeking, and he let out the most aggressive barks I've heard from him after he pushed me out of the way. I love my spooky, and I will always be grateful my soccer buddy is apparently a really good guard dog. Second story have three chickens as pets in my house, and they suddenly start cooing in the midnight at 12. When I wake up to shut them, I see our neighbors were fighting. They fight because he wants to marry off his 18-year-old daughter to a rich guy, but she refuses to marry because she wants to study more. He was literally hurting her with his slipper, iron rods, punches, and kicks and scared her to leave his house. Then I told my parents about this and they go to their house to talk. His daughter never does anything wrong and is indeed very kind. She also loves to feed my chickens in the morning sometimes. That's why they suddenly start cooing in the midnight, which they usually did not do. Animals and birds really have more pure love and feelings for humans than us, like they are the ones who save humanity. I literally owe my life to nearly any animal I've ever been around for different reasons. They can smell body chemistry when it's off, perceive changes in electrical fields before natural disasters, diagnose diseases. They're awesome. Third story. I'm afraid of dogs. This particular one always gravitated towards me, and over time, I didn't fear her as much. I then pet and fed her, etc., and she would wait for me at the bus stop every day. A guy attacked me one night, and I screamed, and the dog charged after the man. She bit him, chased him, and he took off running and cussing. I was shocked. She returned to me wagging her tail, and for the first time ever, all the fear left, and I hugged her and gave her a big dinner and treat. Then I adopted her, and one night she was growling and hissing so much, and her fur was standing up straight. There was something wrong under my bed. I was wondering and trying to take a look, but my dog wouldn't let me get close to my bed. Then I heard a hiss sound. Then I got my flashlight, and there, under my bed, a big python was there. Immediately I shouted and called my father. I was saved. <laughs>